David Thoreau once said, a lake is a landscape's most expressive feature. And like the famous Walden Pond, our lakes and ponds offer us a place to relax and reflect, a place to observe nature in its tiniest form, or its majestic splendor, a place to test skills and patience, a place to invest in the future, and a place to preserve for our children. While the surface of the lake reflects a wide range of human activities, beneath the surface it is a complex living organism with a variety of plants and animals depending on one another for their survival. Any breakdown in this natural balance may cause eutrophication to occur. Whether as part of the lake's natural aging process or as an event hastened by human activity, the lake slowly fills in and over many decades it becomes a wetland. Lakes are profoundly affected by the surrounding watershed from farm runoff, failing septic systems, fertilizers, and industrial effluents. The added phosphorus and nitrogen accelerate the eutrophication process. This in turn leads to excessive plant growth. Of course, some aquatic vegetation is desirable, but dense growth threatens the lake's ecosystem. Decomposing plants deplete oxygen, causing the suffocation of fish and other organisms. Furthermore, the rotting vegetation provides a nutrient-rich environment for more plants to grow. Eventually, human activities are restricted and the lake becomes unusable for navigation and recreation. How can the growth of these plants be controlled without further disruption to the lake's delicate ecosystem? From the earliest cutter boats, designed to mow down weeds so that clean ice could be harvested from frozen lakes, to the highly efficient machines of today, harvesting continues to be the safest and most effective method of controlling aquatic vegetation. Harvesting does not create restrictions on water use or fish consumption. The machines can be used to target specific weed beds or to clear channels for navigation and fishing. Cutting and collecting vegetation can slow the eutrophication process without using chemical or biological methods. Furthermore, recycled plants have a value as mulch, fertilizer, and soil conditioner. Aquatic weeds decompose rapidly and have no seeds which can grow on land. The technique of harvesting offers many advantages and like mowing the lawn, it leaves living plants behind to continue providing life-giving oxygen and habitat for aquatic organisms. Harvesting is an environmentally sound, practical and cost-efficient management technique.